नमस्कार इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ डिजिटल रीडिंग एंड डिजिटल नोट टेकिंग सर्टन एप्स आर क्वाइट पॉपुलर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर पी डी एफ एनोटेशन एंड रीडिंग वी हैव फ्लेक्सिल वी हैव लिक्विड टेक्सट वी हैव पी डी एफ एक्सपर्ट एंड फॉर नोट टेकिंग करेंटली गुड नोट्स एंड नोटेबिलिटी आर द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एप्स आई हैव यूज फ्लेक्सिल एंड गुड नोट्स फाइव सो फार इफ यू सीन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज दीज आर द टू एप्स विच आई यूज मेनली फॉर पी डी एफ रीडिंग एंड नोट टेकिंग बट सम ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स एंड अलॉट ऑफ यू इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन रिकमेंडेड नोटेबिलिटी आई ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड टू ट्राई इट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड टूडे फाइनली आई हैव डिसाइडेड दैट लेट्स गिव इट अ ट्राई This will be a first impressions video and the full review of notability and the comparison with good notes and flexil will come once i test it thoroughly for a few weeks my name is chisel i am a surgeon by profession if you are new to this channel i make videos about tech productivity and health on this channel so let's begin So on opening the app for the first time you're greeted with some messages from notability where it tells you what all you can do with the app there is an option to sync your notes with iCloud so this is the welcome screen it is saying tap compose to create a new note so let's tap compose and that is the new note we have on the top left there is a button to share your documents after that there is the editing toolbar we can click on the t to add text we can draw diagonally to add a text box so let's draw diagonally and create a text box and start typing Just above the keyboard you'll see three options to save your font favorites. You can change the font, you can change the size and you can change the color of it and have it ready when you need it urgently. This is a good feature. I've not seen it any of the other apps that I've used. Then let's come to the pencil and see how the writing experience is on Notability. You have various options for pen sizes, colors and type of pen. You have a ballpoint pen. I think the second one is the fountain pen and then you have a dotted pattern of pens as well. Writing on Notability feels pretty good. It is almost similar to Good Notes 5, but I think Good Notes 5 is slightly better than this on first impressions. But this is much better than Flexil. There is no doubt about that. On the top right, there is an option to change the type of paper. You can change the texture of the paper, the color of the paper. You can change the ruling on the paper: narrow rule, wide ruled, or very wide ruled, square boxes, dots. All the options are there. I personally like this textured feel they have given to the paper. I think it will be fun to write on this. You can also change to a single page view or a seamless page view. Now testing for highlighting I want to make sure that the highlighter goes behind the text and the text does not become faded when I highlight it and so far it looks good the highlighter is going behind the text next is the lasso tool and notability offers you both options to have a freestyle lasso tool or a rectangular fixed lasso tool which is pretty great because good notes offers only a freestyle lasso tool while on the other hand flexil offers only a rectangular fixed lasso tool and on notability you're getting the best of both worlds so thumbs up for that but when you try to convert your handwriting to text it asks for more money which is funny and surprising because it is already a paid app why are they asking for more money i don't understand that then there is a hand shaped tool here i think this is for navigation if you want to navigate with your pencil and i think that is what the purpose of this is i'm not sure then you have the laser tool for presentations you'll have a pointer you can have it in a form of a dot or you can have it in the form of a line then on the bottom right you have a zoom button to have a zoomed in view for writing seamlessly without having to pan around the page So that is all for the editing toolbar. Now let's come to the navigation page. You have an option to organize your notes by adding subjects and dividers. Then you have notability shop where you can add some featured themes, technology, planners and stickers. But surprisingly, these features are all paid as well. These are not available in Good Notes and Flexil, but if they are paid here, it really doesn't make a difference. Then you come to settings where you have an option for auto backup, then you have option to manage your accounts, then you have iCloud. then themes then document you can set up a default document when you open a new document then you can change the typing styles then there are some handwriting settings you can write in straight line you can have some shape detection on or off you can tap and hold to go to zoom view you can have a left handed mode and you can have palm detection then you can choose a password for your app you can have an sleep timer you can keep your ipad awake then some other options like text to speech and web clip and finally let's check the pdf annotation and pdf reading on notability let's import a plastic surgery book from my google Google Drive good notes backup let's try this uh, plastic surgery case review create a new note import it uh, subject is plastic surgery so let's import all right it's done let's open the book and see so 
So we can underline the text, we can highlight the text and no matter how many layers of highlighter you put, the text is not getting faded. So highlighting feature is good in Notability. Go to the lasso tool and select the text. We can copy it and paste it as a screenshot, as an image. Or what we can do is we can go to the text option and select just text separately. But one thing I noticed that if I select the text and then click on highlight, then the highlighter is coming above the text and the text is getting faded. I think you can appreciate the difference here. I'll uh, highlight the last line with a highlighting pen and you can see the difference. The highlighter is going behind the text in the last line while if I'm selecting and then clicking on highlight, the highlighter is coming above the text. This is something a notability should look into. One thing I found missing was the option to have multi window open at one time. Time. They neither have multiple tabs option nor do they have a multi window support. You cannot open two notability windows at a time. While you can open multiple good notes window at a time, you can even open three good notes window at a time using the sliding bar option. You can open one good notes window, one notability window, but you cannot open two notability windows at a time. One unique feature in notability is the option to record audio while you're making notes and it will link your audio to the note that you're writing at that time. That feature will come pretty handy. So this was my first look at notability. On first impressions, I can say that the note taking experience looks pretty close to good notes 5. The highlighting experience is almost at par with good notes and it could be even better. The page templates, I think is better in notability. I really like that rough template they are giving it. it looks like a actual paper. There was nothing special for PDF reading and annotations. It was an average experience. Uh, one feature I really liked was the audio recording feature, which would be really handy for attending seminars and lectures. I can make notes and simultaneously record the audio of the teacher. That would be really helpful. One feature I would really miss is the multiple tabs option and the multi window feature. That is an absolute necessity for me because I make notes while having my book on one side and the notes on the other side. So I use that multi window feature a lot. For the next few weeks, I'll try out notability. I'll make some notes on this. I'll read my plastic surgery books on this and I'll get back to you with a full review very soon so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So that is all for this video. You are watching the Tech Doctor. Namaste.